It was Friday evening, May 4th, and 21-year-old Katie Beth Carruth was heading north on this stretch of Highway 45 alternate. She had been texting and tweeting while driving. As she approached the Oklahoma exit, her car went off the road. Her vehicle flipped several times. Katie Beth was thrown from the car and died instantly. 113 days later, friends and family turned out on a rainy Saturday morning to put up a roadside cross. We just took some two by sixes. We milled them down in the center so they would be even on both sides, flat on both sides. And then we did a layered effect to give it like a 3D look to it. James Snell's son Colt dated Katie Beth. He was one of many friends and family who wrote short messages on the multicolored cross. He also helped anchor it in the soil. After the cross was in place, scripture verses were read, funny memories shared, and tears shed. It's just another way to celebrate and, and just remember Katie Beth and the life she lived and the, the blessing she was to all of us. Those who were a part of Katie Beth's life and who are impacted by her death also hope the memorial will be a stark reminder to other motorists. Texting and driving is just, it's always been something that I guess just as an adult, it's, it's bothered me to know that people do it. But knowing that, that we lost Katie Beth because she just wanted to write a, just a real quick text, it, it breaks my heart and I never want another family to go through the pain that we've had to go through. I don't ever want you know kids to have to stand out here and remember their 21-year-old friend but just because of texting. Hopefully this will be a wake-up call for a lot of folks. In Monroe County, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.